this a potential divider consisting of equal resistances connected in series for the voltage stability two capacitors are added let's make it and power it up <laughs> Oh no, oh no, what is happening? Oh no, wrong polarities. So, while making your circuit, please make sure you have the correct polarities connected. This is the TDA2050 amplifier IC. It's schematic. Without a delay, let's move into the testing part. Tan -tan -tan. I have built the circuit. Let's check the power supply voltages, whether it is correct or not. First of all, bring a multimeter. Let's connect the multimeter ground wire to the ground of the power supply. Or you can say it as a virtual ground. Let's check the positive rail. Yeah, we are getting plus 10 volts. Exactly 10.49 something. It's working. Let's check the other rail. Yeah, it's also minus 10.46 something. Power supply is now. Plus or minus 10.46 volts. Yes, we made it. Speaker is connected to the virtual ground and the output of the IC. Let's play some music. It works perfectly. Okay, let's do some scientific measurements. This IC is capable of handling up to plus or minus 25 volts. Power will be limited, but we will get a decent amount of power. You might ask a question. I'm getting plus or minus 10 volt from an input of 12 volt. No, actually I am having a transformer power supply which outputs around 14 volt armus so it will be close to 20 volt after rectification i am not running this amplifier with a 12 volt power supply actually running it out of a 20 volt power supply out of which we are getting plus or minus 10.46 volt if you are running with a 12 volt power supply then your power rail voltages will be plus or minus 6 volt only then the output of the amplifier will be reduced here i replaced the speaker with a 4 ohm non-inductive load and connected a oscilloscope across the load so that we can see what is the RMS voltage we are measuring and I am playing a 1 kilohertz sine wave you can see in the oscilloscope this is actually close to a clipping situation so this is the maximum what we can get it is a reading close to 4.2 volts then 4.2 square divided by 4 4 ohms is the load impedance we are getting close to 5 watts that's output of the amplifier with the plus or minus 10 volts so you can expect uh, so you can expect 1.5 to 2 2.5 watts using a 12 volt power supply there are many ways of making a virtual ground i will explain one of them in the next video stay tuned and thank